ಶಂಕರಾಚಾರ್ಯಮಧ್ಯಮಾಂಸ್ಮಿತಾಚಾರ್ಯಪರ್ಯಂತಾಂ ಯೋಮವದ್ಯಾಪ್ತ ದೇಹಾಯ ದಕ್ಷಿಣಾಮೂರ್ತೇ ನಮಃ ಸಹನಾವತು ಸಹನೋ ಭುನಕ್ತು ಸಹ ವೀರ್ಯಂಕರವಾವಹೈ ತೇಜಸ್ವಿನಾವಜೀತಮಸ್ತು ಮಾ ವಿದ್ವಿಷಾವಹೈ ಈ ಓಂ ಶಾಂತಶಾಂತಶಾಂತಿ ಧಾತುರ್ಬ್ರಹ್ಮೈವ ಸಂಪ್ರೋಕ್ತ ಜೀವ ಆಖ್ಯಾತ ಮುಚ್ಯತೆ ಪ್ರಕೃತಿ ಕೃತ್ಸುವಂತಾದಿರ್ ಧಾತು ಬ್ರಹ್ಮಾತ್ಮನೇ ನಮಃ ನಾರಾಯಣ ಪರೋ ವ್ಯಕ್ತಾಂಡಮವ್ಯಕ್ತ ಸಂಭವಂ ಅಂಡಸ್ಯಾಂತಸ್ತುಲೋಕಾಪ್ತ Uh, we have seen this across chapters also but this specific gunas in this chapter what is the effect they are mentioned in all sorts of ways so there is some repetition across uh, shlokas and definitely in the bhashya also this is like a break from the heavy uh, chapter that went by so 14th we finished last time 15th verse in continuation i'll do this ರಜಸಿ ಪ್ರಲಯ ಗರ್ಮಸಂಗೇಶು ಜಾಯತೆ ತಲೀಸಿ ಮೂಢಯೋನೀಶು ಜಾಯತೆ ಸತ್ವೆ ಪ್ರವೃದ್ಧೆ ತು ಪ್ರಲಯ ಯಾತಿ ದೇಹಬೃತ್ ವಾಟ್ ಹ್ಯಾಪನ್ಸ್ ವೆನ್ ಒನ್ ಡೈಸ್ ವಿತ್ ಸತ್ವಗುಣ ತದಾ ಉತ್ತಮ ವಿಧಾನ್ ಲೋಕಾನ್ ಅಮಲಾನ್ ಪ್ರತಿಪದ್ಯತೆ ಸೊ ಅನ್ ಅಟೆನ್ಸ್ ಬೆಟರ್ ಲೋಕಾಸ್ ನೌ ವೆನ್ ರಜಸ್ ಇಸ್ ಪ್ರಿಡಾಮಿನೆಂಟ್ when one gives up the body what happens in marana kale that is mentioned here rajasi pralayangatva karma sangeeshu jayate tatha pralinaha tamasi and tamas effect is also mentioned moode yonishu jayate <coughs> so when rajasi pralayangatva meaning at the time of death do when rajas is predominant then what will happen karma sangeeshu jayate among so this is uh, karma sangeeshu can be say, taken as uh, uh, you know in the meaning of among among the those who are attached to karma because rajas is predominant this person wants to do karma so in the surroundings there will be a lot of karma karma kandis in those kind of families he'll be born tatha pralinah tamasi moodayonishu jayate tatha means here similarly similarly tamasi pralinah one when tamasi sati pralinah sati saptam you have to take not adhikarana when tamas is predominant that time one becomes pralinah attains mrityu then mooda yonishu jayate mooda yonis are you know yes is uh, muka prani we say generally we say muka prani similar mooda it is basically pashu pashu life in those kind of because tamas generally they don't have to do much person who does not want to do much can you know he is better blessed with a animal body than a human body that is the idea uh you just uh, copy paste this as it is and just add sati saptami otherwise there is not much to do there no one way tatha pralina rajasi sati so i'll just add that for clarification and shift pralina tatha tamasi sati pralinah san we can add ನಿಶು ಜಾಯತೆ 
सो रजसी गुणे विवृद्धे सती वेन सो विवृद्धे हेज टू बी एड रजसी सती मीन्स वेन रजस इज देर मी रजस इज प्रिडॉमिनंट अदर अदर गुणाज आर डेफिनेटली देर बट रजस इज प्रिडॉमिनंट दैट टाइम प्रलय इज मरण मरण गत्वा इज प्राप्य हेविंग अटेन्ड डेथ वॉट हेपन्स कर्म संगीशु कर्म संग इज कर्म आसक्ति युक्तेशु दोज हु आर एंडोर्ड विथ आसक्ति इन कर्म दोज कैंड ऑफ मनुष्य सो कर्म अधिकार इज देर ओनली फॉर मनुष्य अदर डू नॉट हैव कर्म अधिकार दे हैव भोग अधिकार इन मूड इवन इज देर इज भोग इन देवता देवत्म ऑल्सो देर इज भोग वेरी लेस कर्म एल्स वेर ओनली दैट्स वाई कर्म भूमि इज हियर एंड नाउ मनुष्य जन्म तथा मीनिंग तद्वदेव सिमिलरली प्रलीन मृत तमसी विवृद्धे सती मृत मूड योनिषु जायते मूड योनी पश्वादी योनिषु नॉट मच देर वी ऑलरेडी नो दिस सिंस इट्स अवेलेबल इन मेनी अदर ग्रंथ ऑल्सो हू वॉन्ट्स टू टेक द नेक्स्ट आई कैन टेक देर इज अस अतीत अतीत संक्षेप उच्चते संक्षेप उच्चते उच्चते संक्षेप संक्षेप इज ब्रीफ ब्रीफली समरी समरी ऑफ व्हाट हैज बीन मेंशन हियर इट इज मेंशन आई मीन सेड इन अदर वर्ड्स और समराइज अतीत श्लोकार वॉट एवर इज आइडिया कन्वेड हियर सेम आइडिया इज एक्सटेंडेड इन दी नेक्स्ट श्लोक वॉट इज इट कर्मण सुकृत स्याहु सात्विक निर्मल फल रजसस्तु फल दुखम अज्ञान तम सफल पदछेद कर्मण सुकृत से आहु सात्विक निर्मल फल रजस तो फल दुखम अज्ञान तमस अव्यय Who it? Oh yeah, also. Either way is fine. I think ah who who you will not get ah who is alright. I think ah who who you may not get an avya. Okay. Uh, have to check that. We are generally ah who who. There is an avya also, of course. But uh, that is ah who, not ah who who. Ah who. Ah who. Okay. Ah who who will be third. Ah ha. Ah ha is an avya. I think. Ah ha. So anyway, um, so here it is. Uh, the form ah who who is. Uh, प्रथम पुरुष एंड प्रथम पुरुष ऑल थ्री एंड दे the uh, uh is it for all braviti ah brutah ah tu bruvanti ah hu bravishi atth brutha ah tu yeah so till the uh, madhya purusha dvivachana so the first five meaning that in the if you take a set of nine pratham purusha three so pratham purusha the pratham purusha vibhakti then there is a madhya purusha also called as vibhakti and then uttama purusha also called as vibhakti. so there are set of three vibhaktis uh, with three each okay there are five meaning prathama purusha all three madhya purusha the first two meaning till dvivachana okay. okay. those have, have optional little akara forms for little akara so they say that's what it means plural yes. yeah, they say सात्विकम निर्मलम फलम 
these are all then rajasa yeah that is the first one we can take uh, rajasa two we can add with two rajasa phalam dukkham adnyanam dukkham dukkham phalam rajasa two dukkham phalam phalam dukkham you can bring down the anurutti and say dukkham ahu dukkham ahu okay and tamasah adnyanam phalam ahu tamasah phalam adnyanam ahu adnyanam phalam ahu सो कर्मण सुकृत से सुकृत से वेल डन पुण्य बेसिकली सो सात्विक से सात्विक से सुकृत हियर वी आर टॉकिंग अबाउट सात्विक कर्म सो सात्विक से फल सात्विक दट्स दी आइडिया सात्विक से फल सात्विक सो सुकृत से फल सुकृत इज सात्विक सात्विक से फल सुकृत से एक्चुअली इट इज सात्विक ओनली सुकृत पुण्य कर्म वन विल नॉट डू अनलेस देर इज सत्व सो सुकृत से कर्मण फल सात्विक निर्मल फल आहु सात्विक निर्मल प्योर द रिजल्ट इज ऑलसो प्योर रजस तो फल दुखम आहु रिजल्ट ऑफ रजस मीन राजसिक कर्म वुड बी दुख सुखन अर्लियर ऑलसो ज्ञान सुखंच ज्ञाना एंड देर बाय सुखा आल्सो आर द रिजल्ट्स ऑफ सुकृता एंड सात्विक आल्सो हियर व्हाट हैपेंस इज दैट रजसह तु फलम दुखम आहु इट विल लीड टू दुखा तमस फलम अज्ञानम आहु सो व्हाट इज दैट सात्विक से थे आहु मीन्स शिष्टाह हु से दिस सो शिष्टा आहु दोस हु नो द स्क्रिप्चर्स शिष्टा दोस हु नो शिष्टाचार व्हाई डू दे डू इट आल्सो दे नो सो देयर बाय धार्मिक पीपल सात्विक निर्मल फलम सो कैन इफ यू ऐड इति देन यू हैव टू कन्वर्ट दिस फलम इनटू फर्स्ट केस इफ यू कीप इट एस फलम आहु देन दिस विल बी द्वितीय इट डिपेंड्स ऑन वेदर और नॉट यू ऐड इति रजस अस्तु फलम दुखम रजस व्हाट इज रजस रजस कैन हैव कैन नॉट हैव फलम रजस इज गुण गुण डज नॉट हैव अ दुख फल व्हाट इज द फल ऑफ रजस रजस से कर्मण रजस रजस हियर इज इन द सेंस ऑफ राजस राजस मीनिंग रजस संबंधी राजस रजसस्तु फलम इज रजस फलम इज राजस कर्मण फलम वाय राजस कर्मण फल कर्माधिकारा सो हियर यू शुड पुड कॉमा हियर अदरवाइज इट विल बी कर्माधिकार फल विल नॉट वर्क राजस से कर्मण वाई डू यू से सो कर्माधिकार सो दिस इज हेतु अधिकार मीन इन नॉट अधिकारिक अधिकार इज नॉट कर्म अधिकार एज इन वॉट वी सी इन इन विच कर्म हु एज अधिकार दिस अधिकार इज ए कॉन्टेक्स्ट वे यू हैव इन व्याकरण और इन सूत्र वॉट इज ए अधिकार गोइंग ऑन विच अधिकार इन दैट अधिकार द सूत्र कम्स इन सिमिलरली हियर कर्माधिकार इज All this is being talked about in the context of karma. So, adhikara here is in sense of context. In the context of karma, this discussion is taking because sukrata is a karma. Similarly, sattvika is karma phala. So, rajasa phala when you say, then it is not the guna phala. It is the rajasika karma phala. Therefore, rajasa se karma na phala. Why? Karma na adhikara. The context is prakrta. फलम दुखम सुकृत से फल सात्विक सुकृता इज सात्विक सुकृता कर्म कैन टेक प्लेस बिकॉज इट इज सात्विक इट इज अ रिजल्ट ऑफ सत्वा कमिंग अप दशन इज ऑल्सो रिजल्ट विच इज प्रोडेड बाय दि सत्व गुण देन वन डज सात्विक कर्म देर फोर सात्विक 
is the result of the sattvika karma sattvika karma will lead to sattvika phala similarly here what is said is karma uh, the phalam karana anurupya anurupa anurupya means following due to following karana karana will have anurutti in karya since the karya is the result of rajas rajas comes up then one does rajasa karma and that rajasa karma will lead to rajasam phala because the karya rajasam phala is karya of rajasa karma therefore it has to be rajasa it won't be anything else there will be anurutti of karana in karya tatha ajnanam tatha ajnanam tamasah tamasasya karmanah adharmasya purvavat so purvavat means what has been explained here similarly ajnana is the phala of tamas what is the result of tamas meaning tamas is a guna but tamasah not tamasah gunasya but tamasasya karmanah phalam because of the same reason purvavat means what karma adhikarat and then adharmasya tamasa karma what is tamasa karma adharma so adharma is a meaning of tamasaha which is equal to tamasa karma is equal to uh, adharmasya everything else purvavat purvavat is what has been explained all that will hold meaning karana nurupya tamasam eva phalam api tamasam eva ajnanam further who wants to take this i can take this yes okay kincha urdhva gune gune bhyo bhavati so kincha gune bhyo bhavati what is the what is further what is going to happen uh, in the sense gune bhya due to gunas or from gunas what happens that is mentioned what is the shloka okay. satva sanjayate gnanam rajaso lobha eva cha तमसो भवतो संजायते रजसह लोभ एव च प्रमादमोहौ तमसह भवतः अज्ञानम एव च संजायते क्रियापदम दैट विल बी प्रथमा पुरुष एकवचन सत्वा विल बी पंचमी एकवचन देन ज्ञानम प्रथमा एकवचन रजसह पंच पंचमी एकवचन लोभः प्रथमा एकवचन एव च अव्यय प्रमाद मोहौ प्रथमा द्विवचन तमसह पंचमी एकवचन भवतः प्रथम पुरुषा द्विवचन अज्ञान प्रथम एकवचन एव च अव्यय सत्वा ज्ञान संजायते रजसह एव च तमस कन्वर्जन से संजायते 
and pramadam o bhavata also that way also you can do so you have to just shift it ajnanam samasa ajnanam sanjayate and then pramodam pramadam mohau cha bhavata either way it can be done satvat is what labdhatmaka labdhatmaka satvat meaning that which has attained the predominance atma there is it has come to life as so so how does it come to life it was dormant it has taken forefront therefore that which has attained predominance that kind of sattva from that sattva sanjayate samutpadyate jnanam samutpadyate then rajasa lobha evacha pramadam ucha ubhau tamasa bhavata pramada and moha negligence and delusion are results of tamas ajnana evacha bhavati so bhagavan bhashe is bhavati will continue that ajnana evacha anyway simple nothing more to do here kincha who wants to take the next i can ऊर्धम गच्छन्ति सत्वस्था मध्ये तिष्ठन्ति राजसाः जघन्य गुणवृत्तस्था अधो गच्छन्ति तामसाः ऊर्धम इस द्वितीय एक वचन और प्रथम प्रथम इट कुड बी ऊर्धम गच्छन्ति गच्छन्ति इस या प्रथम पुरुषा बहुवचन सत्वस्थाः एक प्रथमा विभक्ति बहुवचन मध्ये सप्तमी एक वचन ठंडी अगेन प्रथम पुरुष बहुवचन राजसाह प्रथमा विभक्ति बहुवचन जघन्य गुण वृत्तिस्थाह जघन्य गुण वृत्त वृत्तिस्थाह राइट Jaganya guna. Oh, okay. I have vrittastha in one. The okay. Yeah. Jaganya guna vrittastha would be a yeah. Pr Pratma vibhakti bahu vachana vrittastha. Yeah, vrittastha. Mm. Ad Adha uh, gachanti is again pr um, Pratma purusha bahu vachana. Tamasaha is Pratma vibhakti bahu vachana. In uh, another part in Gita, it is vrittastha. Yeah, yeah, I have to. Both different... should be okay. I think both should be vritta stha, vritti stha, vritta. Uh, vritti seems better because vritta. Anyway, vritta. Bhagwan Bhaskar has vritta. All. Vritta and vritti both are okay. Should be okay. I don't know about the uh, whether uh, since uh, Gita Prasad has vritti, that is also possible. Both partas are there. So parta be there. Okay. So okay. Just mark that vritta stha, vritti stha. Yeah, I think here also it's quite straightforward. Satva staha urdhum gachanti, then raja saha madhya tishanti, and tam saha jagannya guna vitis taha. Tam saha. Taha tam saha. Okay, jagannya guna vitis taha tam saha adha gachanti. Adhas would be an avye, I think, right? Adhas, adho, adha. Adho. I wasn't sure. Yeah, adha, adha is is avye. Yeah, I saw it in the dictionary. Adhas would be an avye. It will be adhas. Adhas is an avye. Yeah. Sakaranta, then utto visarga. So adha is uh, here. Adha, it would yeah. be in the sense of dvitiya. Dvitiya arthe avye. So urdham gachanti. Where does this urdhva? Urdhva is devaloka dishu utpadyante chertha. Who are those sattvastha? Those who are, you know, whose whose uh, whose stay in sattva. Stay in sattva means who always have sattva guna vritti. So sattva guna vritta staha. Bhagwan Bhaskar uses this and brings it earlier. Draws. You know, takes cue from there. Sattva guna vritta sthai tiyarta. Vritta is behavior. You know, vritta is generally uh, vritti is pravritti, but vritta is the, the result of that. So it is not just pravritti; it is, is actually acting upon it. 
देर फॉर दो स्टे विद सत्तुण वृत्त इफेक्ट ऑफ दैट दैट्स दी आइडिया जनरली वृत्त एंड वृत्ति विल हैव दैट कैंड ऑफ अ कनेक्शन देर सो बोथ शुड बी ओके सत्वस्था मीनिंग सत्व गुण वृत्तस्था दे दे एटेन देवलोक इत्यादि मध्ये तिष्टी मनुष्य उत्पद्य मध्य इज दे आर कंटिन्यू विथ मनुष्य जन्म इन दि नेक्स्ट जन्म ऑलसो उत्पद्य जगन्य गुण वृत्तस्था सामस जगन्य जगन्य इज इज एक्चुअली कीड़ मीन इट इज इट इज वेरी अनबिकमिंग कैंड ऑफ बिहेवियर असौ गुण जगन्य गुण जगन्य गुण इज तम तमस बट जगन्य मीन वेरी लोली बिहेवियर यू नो अनफिट टू बी सो इट इज बेसिकली बिकॉज द पर्सन बीइंग अ ह्यूमन स्टिल अनफिट टू बी अ ह्यूमन दैट कैंड ऑफ बिहेवियर तस् वृत्त वॉट इज द वृत्त देर निद्र आलस्य आदि सो कंटिन्यूंग विथ निद्र एंड आलस्य वन इन अल एवरी वन हेज दिस यू नो वन इज टायर्ड ओवर स्लीव बट आलस्य एंड निद्र शुड नॉट बी स्वभाव इफ दैट हेपन्स देन दैट इज दि वृत्त वृत्ता इज एक्चुअली एट अदर दिस थिंग वृत्ता इज ऑल्सो यू नो युअर लाइवलीहुड सो टू से सो लाइवलीहुड के नॉट बी निद्र आलस्य यो पर्सन स्लीप्स थ्रू दि डे नथिंग इज गोइंग टू हैपन सो इट्स इट्स लाइक आई नो द वे दे से इन एनिमल्स ऑल्सो दे हैव टू वर्क फॉर देयर फूड फॉर देयर सस्टेनेंस अदरवाइज लाइक यू नो दे से लाइक अ हिपोपोटामस हु स्लीप्स थ्रू एंड थ्रू one would get that kind of a life therefore tasmin sthitaha jaganya gunavrttastaha moodaha adah gachanti they will this this are tamasa who have tamasa pravrtti they attain adogati adogati is what pashvadishu utpadyante till born as animals etc okay this is a long sangati i will take this पुषस्थ प्रकृतिस्थत्वेण मिथ्या ज्ञान युक्त भोग्यु गुणेशु सुख दुख मोहात्मक सुखी दुखी मूढ़ी रूप यहाँ पुषस्थ सदस योनिजन्म प्राप्ति लक्षण से संसार से सामसन पूर्वाध्याय युक्त स प्रकृतिस्तत्वेण मिथ्या ज्ञान मिथ्या ज्ञान प्रकृति बिकॉज मिथ्या ज्ञान मिथ्या ज्ञान However, you break it. Mithya adhyana or mithya jnana. Either way you break it, you will land in a similar meaning in the end. Because jnana and adhyana both are mithya in the vyavaharika context, and that is the prakruta behavior. It is but natural for everyone because one is born in avidya. You have to work towards vidya, but avidya is but natural. सो प्रकृतिस्तत्वेण मिथ्या ज्ञान युक्त एंड वन हू इज एंडोड विथ पुरुष पुरुष से युक्त पुरुष से हू इज एंडोड विथ बेसिकली दि बेसिक संपत्ति अज्ञान वन इज बॉर्न विथ दैट संपत्ति भोग्यु गुणेशु वॉट आर दि रिजल्ट सो दट वन इज बॉर्न एज अ भोगी दट दि रीजन वन इज बॉर्न फॉर भोग इट से देर इज कर्म फला ड्यू देर फॉर वन इज बॉर्न then one earns more so there is already a already an attained bhoga which is due bhogyeshu guneshu and those are all what gunas all gunas are bhogya they come up and make you go through happiness or sorrow so sukha dukha mohatmakeshu sukha dukha and then delusion also continues so sukha comes from vishaya dukha is also due to vishaya this is moha thereby one continues in samsara therefore guneshu which are dukha dukha mohatmaka gunas and what do they result in 
सुखी दुखी मूढ़ाहम सो सुखी अहम दुखी अहम मूढ़ाहम अस्मि इति एवं रूप है यह संगा एसोसिएशन विथ गुणाज एंड गुण कार्या एज सुख बींग वन सोन सुख इज अ गुणा देन हुज दैट गुण अंतकरण हेज दिस सुख वृत्ति बट आई कंसिडर मई सेल्फ एज सुखी बिकॉज ऑफ संग विथ दि अंतकरण तादात्म्य संबंध सिमिलरली दुख ऑल्सो मूड ऑल इज आर एट वेरियस लेवल एंड देन एक्सटेंडिंग टू दि अदर कोशाज और शरीर आज ऑल्सो तत्कारण वॉट इज दैट यदुक्त वॉट वॉज सेट पुरुष सदस योनि जन्म प्राप्ति लक्षण से संसार से यत्कारण मुक्त इन दि अर्लियर चैप्टर वॉट वॉज डिस्कस क्षेत्र क्षेत्र योग दैट इज इलेबरेटेड हियर सदस योनि सत एंड असत सत इज अ गुड जन्म देवता और मनुष्य जन्म ऑल्सो कैन बी कंसिडर्ड देर एंड असद इज अदोगति अदो अदोगति अदोगति देर फोर वॉट इज सडे पश्वादि योनि सो सद इज देवता और मनुष्य एंड असद इज पश्वादि योनि जन्म प्राप्ति लक्षण से संसार से दैट संसार विच इज characterized by attainment of janma in these kind of yonis various types of births iti samasena purvadhyay yaduktam tadiha here in this chapter that very thing is elaborately explained as what sattvam rajas tamaiti gunah prakriti sambhavah these gunas are born of prakriti prakriti can also be maya which is actually maya and that maya which results in mithya jnana also because avidya is nothing but maya iti arabhya tadiha rajas sattvam rajas tama iti guna prakriti sambhava iti arabhya beginning with the fifth verse here in this chapter guna swarupam guna vrittam swavrittena cha gunanam bandhakatvam guna vritti nibaddhasya cha purushasya yagati hi these are the four things mentioned iti arabhya beginning with the fifth verse what is discussed guna swarupam guna vrittam swavrittena cha gunanam bandhakatvam then guna vritti nibaddhasya cha purushasya ya gati hi iti etat iti etat sarvam mithya jnana moolam bandha karanam vistarena uktva so till 18th verse from 5th what has been done is guna swarupa has been explained guna vritta when guna swarupa means what is the very nature of guna then what is the result of guna what is the kind of behavior that one has when a particular guna takes predominance what happens that has been explained then swavrutena cha gunanam bandhakatvam then with its own result what it makes you do that will bind the gunas when they come up all these three gunas are even sattva is going to bind how sukha sukha sangena jnanena sukha sangena cha it was said earlier sukha sukha will also cause by bondage therefore swavrutena cha gunanam bandhakatva with its own result it will make you do something and then bind that result will bind therefore the guna coming up you have acted therefore the gunas are also the results are leading to bondage therefore bandhakatva gunanam api bandhakatva meva why because swavrutena they make you work towards something and then thereby bind gunavrutta nibaddhasya cha purushasya yagati what happens what happens to that person who is bound by the resultant of guna a particular guna crops up and makes you do something what will be your lot after that that was mentioned here because continuing samsara another janma and what kind of janma all that has been discussed till 18th verse iti etat sarvam mithya jnana moolam vistarena uktva earlier samasena briefly in the last chapter now in this chapter elaborately it has been discussed and all that is bandha karanam मिथ्या ज्ञान मूल मिथ्या ज्ञान मिथ्या अज्ञान एंड देन इट्स रिजल्ट आल्सो 
So Mithya Jnana will cover the Avarana aspect and Mithya Jnana will cover the Adhyasa aspect, Vikshepa. So Sarvam, Etat Sarvam, all of these are what? All of these are uh, in as a set. If you take it as a set, Iti Etat Sarvam, Bandha Karanam. And what kind of Bandha Karanam? Mithya Jnanam Moolam Yasya Bandha Karanasya Tad Bandha Karanam Mithya Jnanam Moolam. It is Mithya Jnanam Moolam Bandha Karanam. At its root of this Bandha Karana is Ajnana. Or we can even say Mithya Jnana Jnanam Eva Moolam Tadeva Bandha Karanam. So Tadpurusha may also be possible. Uh, moola, moola, moola would be, moola can be neuter, I think. I'm not sure. Let me just cross check since this thought has propped up now. Moolam, yeah, moolam is moolam. Okay, no mention. Maybe it is uh, Napunsaka. Klebam, yeah. So Trishulingeshu, yeah. Trishulingeshu, therefore Moolaha, Moolam, both are possible. So Tatpurusha may also be possible. You have to take all as Karma Dharya then. Vistarena Uktva, uh, as in here, Mithya Jnanas Jnanam Eva Moolam, and then Tadeva Bandakaranam. That may also be possible. But then, if you are saying Sarvam Mithya Iti Etat Sarvam Mithya Jnanam Moolam Bandakaranam, no, I think. If it is going with this, okay, Bandha Karanam, no, uh, Bahuri is better because, uh, yeah, it is Bahuri, it can't be uh, Tatpursha because this is not Moola. Mithya Jnana, this is not Mithya Jnana itself, this is that which has Mithya Jnana as its Moola, so it is Bahuri. So earlier uh, thing was right. Mithya Jnanam Eva, Mithya Ajnanam Eva Moolam Yasya, Yasya, what has been said as Etat. All this, the entire set, which is Bandha Karanam. All this is because Bandha Kattam, Gunanam Bandha Kattam, all that is mentioned. So, Guna Swarupa, Guna Vrutta, Swavrutta and Guna Vrutta, Nibaddhasya, Purushasya, Gati. That Gati is also, all of that is a set, which is Iti Etat Sarvam. All that has Mithya Jnana at its root. Thereby, Gunas continue. To function and give the result thereby causing or continuing bondage causing bondage because bondage is already there so they are not causing anything more they are just letting the ball roll bandha karan vistarinukta having elaborately mentioned aduna now what is being done samyak darshanan moksha samyak darshanat moksha through right vision there is due to right vision there is moksha so Hetau Panchami Vaktavyaha. So Moksha, if there is Bandha and Bandha Karana is known, Bandha Karana is known as what? Having its root in Mithya Jnana. So Mithya Jnana will go with Jnana. That Jnana is Samyak Darshana. Thereby Moksha and that Moksha has to be mentioned. This is the way to Moksha. Already mentioned many times, but then now Bandha has been discussed in another way elaborately. Moksha has to be brought back. Vaktaveti ityataha aha Bhagavan. Therefore, what does Bhagavan say? He says, Nanyam gune bhyakartaran yada drashtanu pashyati gune bhyaschaparam veti madbhavam sodi gachati. So, Nanyam na anyam. Na Anyam Gunebhyaha Gunebhyaha Anyam Kartaram Yada Drashta Na Anupashyati Gunebhyascha Madbhavam Paramvetti Saha Padigachati So that's the Anvaya as well. Gunebhyaha Anyam. So Anyam is there. Kartaram Drashta Anupashyati. So you start with the verb, making it simple. I mean, I'm used to starting with the first uh, word itself because uh, when you're reading, 
जनरली दईडिया से दृष्टि कह अनुपश्य कर्तरी प्रयोग देर फोर प्रथम पुरुष एक वचन इज ए देर बाय यू नीड कर्ता इन प्रथम दृष्टा इज ए कर्ता दृष्टा अनुपश्य अनुपश्चात अनु इज फॉलोइंग फॉलोइंग वन सीज सो वॉट डज वन सी देर अनुपश्य यदा यदा दृष्टा अनुपश्य किम अनुपश्य इज जनरल सामान्य नपुंसक इज ए आकांक्षा हाउ एवर स्पेसिफिक आकांक्षा इफ यू नो हियर देर इज अ पुल्लिंग शब्द कर्तारम देर फोर कम अनुपश्य कर्तारम अनुपश्य देर फोर द्वितीय कर्तारम यदा अनुपश्य नॉट यदा अनुपश्य न सो न हेज बीन मेन्शन सो न विल गो विथ अनुपश्य सो न इज एन अव्यय सो यदा दृष्टा कर्तारम न अनुपश्य वॉट इज दिस कर्तार कर्तारम इज कर्ता दिस कर्ता इज अन्यम सो अन्यम न अनुपश्य वेन यू से अन्यम देर इज आकांक्ष आकांक्ष ऑफ कस्मात अन्यम सो कस्मात इज ए जनरल सामान्ये नपुंसकलिंगम एज वेल एज एक वचनम जातो एक वचनम ऑल्सो पॉसिबल दी आंसर विल बी गुणेभ्य इन पंचमी इट इज इन प्लूरल हैपन्स टू बी इन प्लूरल सो यू कैन आस के ऑल्सो बट कस्मात विल बी बिकॉज वी डू नॉट नो वॉट वी आर जनरली अनलेस इफ यू ऑलरेडी नो दि श्लोका देन इट इज फाइन अदरवाइज आकांक्षा वुड बी इन सिंग्युलर इज फाइन कस्मात अन्यम देन पंचमी इज सेटेन सो यू आंसर इन पंचमी बहुवचन हुनेभ्य अन्यम यदा सो देर फोर द अन्वाइज यदा दृष्टा नो अनुपश्य सो यू फर्स्ट फिल इन दैट नो अनुपश्य एंड देन यू फिल इन दर्स दृष्टा गुणेभ्य अन्यम कर्तारम न अनुपश्य सो यदा इज देर देन तदा यू नीड तदा देन वॉट हैपन्स तदा तदा सह विल से अधिगछति न अधिगछत इज अनदर वर्ड वर्ब सो सह सह कह सह दृष्टा स दृष्टा अधिगछ तदा सदा वी एडेड बिकॉज यदा इज देर दिस इज इज फला एंड देन इज इज दैट ऑल यू नो ही डज नॉट सी अनदर कर्ता अदर देन गुण सो गुणाजारदी कर्ता ही नोज गुणा गुणेशु वर्तंते मत्वा न सज्जते This is the idea that has set in at least by the fourteen chapter to this. Whoever is the drashta here, thereby what else does he, uh, you know, does he not see? No, anupashyati means basically does not have a notion of another. That is the idea there. Therefore, gune bhihacha further gune bhihacha. Vetti is also another word. Therefore, vetti. परम परम वेत्ति वी कैन से मद्भाव वेत्ति आर वी कैन टेक मद्भाव अधिगछति बोथ आर पॉसिबल गुणेभ्य परम वेत्ति वन हु नोज समथिंग विच इज सुपीरियर टू गुणास इन एक्चुअली व्हाट सुपी इन व्हाट वे सुपीरियर In reality, it is superior in the level of reality itself. All this is gunas are mitya. One who sees gune bhya param, their para is also satta is also different. The para satta is different from the guna satta. Guna satta is vyavharika, which has been reduced to after knowing mitya tum of vyavharika satta. then one knows that there is only para satta there is other thing is, does not have satta of its own at all therefore gunas are pratibhasika one reduces the, the vyavharika also to pratibhasika because it is it does not have its own satta earlier just to put the person in a comfort zone we say oh yeah vyavhara is valid but then one once one knows that the vyavhara is mithya gunas are also mithya then gunas do not have any satta at all really other than the satta which is lent by 
one's own self atma there by one's own one oneself one's own there is oneself lends the satta and spurti to everything thereby guna guneshu vartante mithyatvena therefore there is no reality there at all that's the that's the underlying principle here so yaha vetti yaha drashta gunebhya param vetti one who knows para that is paramatma pratyagatma and sadatma everything else is unreal chidatma everything else is insentient satta and spurti is lent by the mere presence lent as in not as in you know i'll give some loan and then collect interest or just give away it is not even wanting to do something it is not kartrutva bhavena it is only by mere presence and then what happens saha this madbhavam can be seen as one's own reality is parasatta if you bring it here and then madbhavam krishna is saying as phala also madbhavam sah adhigachati both ways it can be seen but madbhavam will definitely go with adhigachati because adhigachati means one attains actually knows also adhigachati adhigamana is uh, is also attainment of jnana jnana also therefore it is the anvaya in anvaya we one can say for the स्टेटस इज superior to gunas and in satta spur in every every level of comparison i am superior and then what is the most superior that which that me who is the only one who exists not the sharira not the sharira vishayas therefore gunas are bahuduram in reality as existent they are not really existent sah mad bhavam adhigachati that is the anvaya there na anyam anyam is what karya karana vishayakara parinatebhya gunebhya anyam so one who is different gunebhya anyam is what is so not anyam anyam here is here it is equal to so gunebhya anyam na anupashyati so gunebhya anyam is what gunebhya is other than gunas means what karya karana vishayakara parinatebhya those gunas not as gunas the gunas have a karya they have transformed themselves into what in an akara which akara karya akara karana akara vishaya akara all three so karya karana vishaya ar dwandva tesham akara tesham akarena parinatebhya so tritiya there in that kind of an akara is in that manner akara yata bhavati tatha परिणतेभ्य गुणेभ्य और कार्य करण विषयाकारा कार्य करण विषयाणाम आकारा यथा भवन्ति तथा परिणतेभ्य गुणेभ्य कर्तारम अन्यम यदा न दृष्टा न अनुपश्यति हु इज दिस दृष्टा दृष्टा इज विद्वान वन हु हैज गेन दिस ऐक्य ज्ञान first through viveka he has discriminated atma from anatma gunas are anatma they do their karya on their own as in i am not involved there i am just present as a sakshi and through me they get prerana to act they get the satta and spurti but i have nothing to do with i am asanga atma that vidwan is drashta and vidwan san drashta is vidwan san being not the the way the earlier he was a drashta that drashta was actually a participant he, he was a participant now he is no longer a par- participant he is a sakshi thereby vidwan san na anupashyati kartaram anyam na anupashyati meaning karta karta is guna 
guna is acting i have nothing to do with that action i have i am not the actor guna eva sarvavasthaha sarvakarmanam kartarah iti evam pashyati so if that is not clear bhagwan bhashikara explains what is the idea guna ha eva sarvavasthaha wherever whatever is going on sarvavastha is in any state and however they are present whatever and however they are present they are all kartas of all karmas iti evam pashyati so na pashyati kartaram anyam na pashyati meaning kartaram sa guna eva iti pashyati so iti evam pashyati thereby gunebhyascha param guna vyapara sakshi bhutam vetti param pashyati who is that para para is guna vyapara sakshi bhutam I am the Sakshi. I know myself as Sakshi. Sakshitam praptam vetti. I have attained the status of Sakshi, which is my real nature. Now I am no longer Karta. So once I give up my Karaka, Karaka status that I had earlier, Karta status earlier, Mokta status earlier, that I drop cognitively, then I consider myself as not a participant anymore i become a sakshi as do become becoming as do thereby guna vyapara sakshi i am i am not the guna vyapara karta but i am sakshi thereby i know myself then mad bhavam adigachyati means mad bhavam is mama bhavam ishwaratvam ishwaratvam is upadi if you drop then sachidananda tattva saha drashta adigachyati that very one who has all this knowledge further what is the next verse who is taking this anyone interested or should i continue i can try okay for you i Yeah, go ahead. It's okay. Yeah. Uh, okay, so he is. Yeah. Okay, he he muted. Okay, I'll go ahead. Katham adi gachati iti uchchate guna neta nati tyatrin dehi deha samudbhavan janma mrityu jara dukhai rvi mukto mrta masnute. Katham adi gachati iti uchchate. How how does one attain madbhava? or understand mad bhava attainment is figurative therefore it is jnana jnanam eva prapti so what is that gunan vitan what is it dvitiya um, bahuvachana is it dvitiya trin dehi trin dehi deha samudbhavan janma mrit ಅಸ್ತಿಂತ ಮತು ವರ್ಥೆ ಇನಿ ದೆನ್ ದೇಹ ಸಮುದ್ಭವಾನ್ ಇಸ್ ಆಲ್ಸೋ ದ್ವಿತೀಯ ವಚನ ಜನ್ಮ ಮೃತ್ಯು ಜರಾ ದುಃಖೈ ವಿಲ್ ನಾಟ್ ಡೇಡ್ ಎಲ್ಸ್ ವೇರ್ ಓನ್ಲಿ ತೃತೀಯ ವಿಮುಕ್ತ ಸನ್ ಅಮೃತಂ ವಾಟ್ ಹ್ಯಾಪನ್ ಯರ್ ಅಮೃತಂ ಐ ವಿ ಹ್ಯಾವ್ ಐ ಈಟ್ ಇಟ್ ಅಪ್ ಸೋ ಅಮೃತಂ ಅಮೃತಂ ಅಶ್ನುತೆ ಓಕೆ ಅಮೃತಂ ಅಶ್ನುತೆ ಅಶ್ನುತೆ ಲಭತೆ ಇತ್ಯರ್ಥ ಅಂಡ್ ಅಮೃತಂ ಇಸ್ ದಿ ಜನ್ಮ ಮೃತ್ಯು ಜರಾ ದುಃಖೀನ್ ದೇಹ ಸಮುದ್ಭವಾನ್ ಗುಣಾನ್ 
राइट बिकॉज इट इज इट गो इन कॉमन जन्म मृत्यु जरा दुख ही विमुक्त सन बींग फ्री फ्रॉम ऑल दीज वॉट हैपन्स ही अटेन्स अमृत अमृतम अश्नुते सो नॉट डिफिकल्ट एट ऑल you have to understand this do etantrin these three we know sattva rajas and tamas these are the gunas but deha samud bhavan this has to be understood we will see in the bhashya atitya having transgressed that crossed over having gone beyond that's a better way to say it. transgression has a negative notion so dehi so this dehi who is sakshi now who who has a deha but does not have tadatmya sambandha vidhi deha ni mo thereby janma mrityu jara dukha he crosses over and thereby he be, becomes free from that janma mrityu jara dukha hi vimukta being free from all of these amrutam asnute in attainment is figurative there asnute is uh, asana can also be you know uh, bhojana there bhoga basically so guna netan what are these etan why these these because it has already been discussed yatoktan atitya what happens Jeev, jeevan mukti is being discussed so jeevan neva atikramya while living itself not crossing them because everyone crosses the gunas at death but they are still there in sukshma sharira all these guna guna karyas sharira is also you have a satvika sharira you have seen already seen this satvika sharira can also be satvika because the yoni is of that type the species is of that type so satvika rajasika and tamasika shariras are also there devata sharira manushya sharira pashu shariras at death one crosses all these so not that way atitya then which way jeevan neva while living one crosses over and atitya means atikramya what is that what are these do maya upadi bhutan trin gunan these are the upadi maya upadi maya them sir maya itself is upadi in the form of maya upadi trin gunan atitya who is that who is trans you know who is going beyond these three that is a dehi and deha samudbhavan what is deha samudbhavan dehotpatti bija bhutan so deha samudbhavan means those gunas which are in the form of bija for the utpatti of deha so here deha samudbhavan has to be understood as uh, in a manner that samudbhava is the bija there then only it will work therefore uh, i said we'll look at the bhashya dehotpatti bija bhutan so samudbhava is bija source samudbhava is a uh this is source there therefore that source is bija so dehasya samudbhava is dehasya utpatti karana bija and do, what are those those are gunas one continues with the gunas and we have seen earlier in the verses we began with today except for sattva if one dies with sattva guna we saw in the last part at the end one dies with rajas guna predominant in one's own antakarana what happens when one dies one gets manushya janma and uh, karma kand is basically those who do karma more karma and if one is born uh, one dies with tamas predominant then one gets adogati therefore these gunas are bija bhuta for devotpatti that is meant by deha samudbhava and in ditya bhavachana deha samudbhavan gunan जन्म मृत्यु जरा दुख ही जन्म च मृत्यु वेरी क्लियर द्वंद्वा देर जन्म च मृत्यु जरा च दुखा च जन्म मृत्यु जरा दुखा तई जन्म मृत्यु जरा दुख जीवन विमुक्त सो जीवन मुक्ति जीवन विमुक्त सन बीइंग फ्री नॉट बॉडीली फ्री बट फ्री फ्रॉम अविद्या देर वर् जीवन विमुक्त सन विद्वान this vidwan is going to attain amruta amrutam asnute evam mat bhavam adigachyati ityartha so what is this mat bhavam adigachyati amrutam 
Vashnu Tethyartha. That is Madhbhava. Bhagavan's nature is immortality because he is Chaitanya Swarupa, Sat Swarupa. Basically Sat Swarupa. Sat Swarupa is Trikala Vaditya Sat. Ever there. That is the Amruta Tattva. That is the 20th verse also. We we'll look at the 21st in the next part where Arjuna begins some other you know, questioning. Narayana Paruvikta, Dandam of Vikta Sambo, Mandasyantas to me, Luka, Sapta, Deepa, Chamidini. Any questions? None. Thank you. Namaste. 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 Namaste.